Sled prep, 50 degrees out. Hell, it might be 60 degrees out. Got one of our last races this weekend. We'll see if there's uh, any ice left for the weekend after that. But headed up north to Natawash to the Snowdio. Got little brother's race sled ready to go again after blowing it up. Got the new motor put in it. What we're going to do today is talk about changing out these rollers on your uh, reverse cam roller secondaries. Articat roller secondaries. So let's get into it. Well, step one is to remove your secondary and get it tore apart. You uh, you can look up sled tip 002 um, on taking one of these apart, cleaning it, and reassembling it. Go over how you wanna leave the helix loose until you got the cap and the spring compressed back on there, torqued down, and then you go in and. Um, torque the helix that's so that the helix is the helix is in good contact with your rollers on your um, cap roller cap plate top plate roller plate whatever the hell you want to call it uh, for today what you're gonna need is a couple of punches two different sizes you'll need a nice small one um, we're gonna punch these roll pins out there's three roll pins sitting on the outside blocking the pin for the roller from sliding out. Um, we'll just punch those through top to bottom. It's just a through hole. Then we'll use another size punch once that's out of the way. And we'll come push the pin all the way into the center portion of the plate. That'll uh, release the rollers and then there's actually some convex uh, washers uh, they really act as a spring to hold hold the rollers in place um, the other thing you're going to want to have is some replacement rollers I've used SPI I got a bunch of them um, they work okay I'm not going to say they work great but I've used quite a few of them they're pretty cheap um, but I don't know. If people have had better luck with another kind, let me know because I'd be curious. Uh, seems like you got to replace these quite often. But that's alright. Forces you to go through your shit more often. Um, but like I said, we'll start by punching these three small pins out. Now if you were a smart man, which I will not claim to be, you would have went to the hardware store and bought yourself some new roll pins because uh, those can't be any good anymore, right? Well, I'm going to reuse mine. Open. Roll pin? Is that what it's supposed to be called? I don't know. You get the idea. Now you use your bigger punch. Again, you're gonna punch uh, punch pins outside to to in. Punch it all the way through, because then you'll just come back and replace it through this side. To do these, 
I'll usually lightly pinch it in the vise. Um, don't want to tighten in too far and end up breaking it. Pull that out, there's your roller, there's your spring washer, there's actually a washer on the outside too. These, I don't know, these are starting to wear a groove in them. Uh, the main thing was is there was a lot of play on the pin that was in there. Um, I just worry about them getting caught in one spot and wearing all the season up. Just one thing you got to make sure you do is just have a punch long enough to push your pin all the way out. Probably help if I use the right punch for that. This is the pin that that rides on. These pins got a rounded end and a cupped end. The, uh, the cupped end will stay out, so the rounded end will go in first when we go to replace the roller. So I'll just put it right like that, just so I'm ready to go. Do one at a time so that I remember which side the spring washer and stuff is on. Because then you can reference one that's still on there. Take the new roller. See that fits a lot nicer on that pin than the old one did. Anyhow. Roller. Washer, washer. I'm going to do one thing at a time here, get that guy started. Push it in flat, use your punch again, look down the side so you're making sure you're not screwing up your washer on the back side as the pin comes through. <laughs> Punch it in, 
So that. Flush with the inside hole so you can get your roll pin back in. Find your roll pin. Tap that flush. You got a new roller. Rinse and repeat. Just like that, <clears throat> new rollers on your Articat, reverse cam, short tower, secondary. Um, again, see sled tips 002 um, for how to reassemble your secondary. Main thing is, is the, the trick to the helix. Like this helix I gotta take off or take loose before I put this thing back together. Um, someday I'd like to do a video going through these tuning holes. Um, just a quick quick one on it is you can change a few different things um, there's there's what I control with it there's what other people will say you're doing with it there's people that say you can control RPM and this and that um, I'm not gonna say anyone's right or wrong I just know what I do with it for uh, for our racing stuff but we'll go over that another time thanks for watching make sure if you're liking these videos down over there somewhere I'm not gonna pretend I'm good at that somewhere on the screen it should say subscribe click that as of today I got 99 subscribers coming up on hundred subscribers sounds like a pretty small number and it is but pretty big deal to me kinda of fun doing these videos helping people out um, like today this video is for Alex Stillwell he asked about it on uh, one of my last sled tips said he wanted to see replacing rollers on a secondary so Alex there you go um, again subscribe if you hit the bell next to the subscribe button it lets you know when I put a new video up let me know what you guys are looking for yeah make fun of me if my if I'm doing it wrong I'm trying to learn together with everyone um, trying to help beginners out I'm still a beginner too so this is kind of a fun way to learn but Subscribe, like, comment, find me on Facebook, keep up with what we're doing racing. Um, you've had a pretty good year this year. Uh, ups and downs, obviously. Machine behind me, we had to put a motor in because we learned some shit the hard way. But uh, Tuition can be expensive and, and difficult to the school of hard knocks, but you learn it the best that way. So, Until next time.